We are on board the luxurious Holland America ship Rhinedam, just leaving the port of Dover. The white cliffs of Dover are behind me of historic value, the first thing people see when they cross the channel towards Great Britain. As I said, a beautiful summer day and we are embarking on the jewel of the Baltic cruise. We'll be visiting Denmark, Stockholm, Russia, and finally making our way back to Dover in two weeks. With us now is cruise director Kieran Buckley. It's a real pleasure having you with nice us. Nice to meet you. Thank you for inviting me along. We've been hearing your voice throughout this wonderful cruise. I'd like to ask you from your perspective, what are the challenges facing a cruise director? Um, for this particular cruise, I could say touch word, there has not been many. Um, obviously, for my job, that uh, one thing that stands out is... Uh, if a cast member gets uh, sick or injured, we have to cancel the show at the last minute to try and scramble around to put on something alternative for the guests. We don't really want to cancel the show and leave the theatre dark. We always try and, <coughs> and, and uh, have an alternate on standby. Obviously, if a missed port of call happens, uh, which uh, Touchwood doesn't happen too often, uh, but if it does, we, you know, we need to scramble again the troops together, bring the team in, put together a, a, a great day sort of activities and entertainment where we would have been in a port, uh, where everyone would have been off enjoying the port of call, we are at sea instead. So we bring in everybody to try and, and fathom out what we can do for the guests in, uh, in, in that additional sea day. Uh, obviously, you know, we, we know that the, the, the travel bug is prominent in, 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 in the travel world. You know, this, uh, the GI virus is travel, in the travel world. Um, that can be a challenge when, uh, when a lot of guests are, 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 are sick with that. Um, that. That can be a challenge too with, with people stepping up to eliminate, eliminate the bargain to, serve, to, to, to take on additional roles of serving in the, uh, in the restaurants, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, uh, that, that's, a, that's quite a big challenge. But I would say they are the top three. What amazes me is how you get your cast of musicians, singers and performers, how they're all able to present a continuous flow of exceptional entertainment. Uh, the, I mean, the cast do uh, work uh, hard, especially with the three-show format that we have here on this particular ship. Um, they're amazing professionals, very well-versed in, in their craft. Uh, the, the bigger challenge is that trying to <clears throat> put on a show of great variety every single evening for the 14 days, understanding where our guest demographic is from. I mean, this particular cruise, we have guests from the US, the UK, Canada, Australia. Spain, Argentina, Germany, Holland, you know, we have such a myriad of, uh, of guests from all over the world. So trying to pinpoint uh, the, the variety shows as well as the production shows to, to cater to everybody's needs. And, and, and again, we've had such a great response to all of our entertainment. This crew has been absolutely outstanding. So that, uh, that, that, is, that is rather challenging. But uh, again, the Rhinedam has come up trumps with uh, offering a, a wonderfully solid, powerful, energetic and varied show program. Absolutely. Back to your point on health, it's my understanding that tourists traveling abroad face a far greater likelihood of mishaps going from one destination and hotel to another. 
However, on a luxury cruise like this, where they unpack once and the ship, in fact, is the floating hotel, everything is more convenient and healthier as well. Is that not the case? It is. Absolutely, it is the case, um, especially here at Holland America Line. We, you know, we'd rather be proactive about keeping everybody healthy than being reactive to a situation. That's why we encourage guests to wash their hands more thoroughly than they would uh, when they are at home, to take uh, full advantage of the uh, gel sanitizing stations that are always uh, around the ship, you know, to use, wash your hands after using the bathroom, before and after eating, before for those guests that smoke to having a cigarette, but to really, really be vigilant about keeping everybody healthy on board, you know, healthy and safe. Let's change subjects and talk about technology. I was just looking at the beautiful, finely detailed scale model of a ship on the 10th deck, and as they were 300 years ago, actually, and one has to think of the conditions they sailed in back then and how they navigated the world. Well, when you, when you come to see the ships as they are now, I mean, all the different companies, all the different brands, um, you know, have their bells and whistles, which attract guests to, to the cruise lines. Here, here at Holland America, you know, I, just to say from the bridge, what I see on the bridge of the, the radars and the gadgets they have, uh, they have up there are just absolutely amazing, you know. However, there still is the sextant there. There still is the old time navigational tools if they are ever needed in the event of something very unforeseen happening. Um, but with a very talented group of watch keepers and navigators, uh, an amazing uh, leader in our captain. Um, but yeah, it, but I mean, technology has changed this industry, whether it comes to engine room or bridge or food and beverage, entertainment. The, the, the entire industry has changed due to technology, you know. How interesting it is that the vacation experience has changed. Decades ago, people would go abroad on a holiday and today, more than ever, the ship is the destination. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, they are. it is the destination. Um, on a cruise like this that, uh, that we've, we've done up into the Baltic area, obviously the big draw has been the, the great cities that we've visited. Um, so, you know, during the days of St. Petersburg or <clears throat> Warnemunde, the, these big, big ports of call with the trips to Berlin and, you know, the Hermitage, the, the, the ship was pretty empty. But for those guests that that want to stay on board you know we always have something for those guests to do whether they want to be as active or as inactive as they like the choice is always there for them but I think that people enjoy the gracious surface that Holland America uh, are well known in the industry for extending the great food that we are well renowned for uh, and, and people you know sometimes come on the ship and, and don't leave we've had guests here that have been here for six weeks um, that have cruised with us because they, they feel that the Rhine Dam is their home and that's a great testament to the leadership and the crew of this, of this vessel. We also like the concept of visiting a port, having an opportunity to explore it and see the highlights. I don't have to bother with packing and unpacking as one would at a hotel. But instead, we have a full day or two in a port, then we sail to the next destination. I find this to be quite perfect for most people. It is. I mean, you know, where, where in the world could you go um, on holiday, every day wake up in a different country, see an absolutely world-class program of, of live entertainment, uh, eat great food, drink fantastic wines, enjoy fantastic weather, you can't. You know, the, you, you go on a package holiday, you are there. Here, we take you to these amazing places. And also, you know, it gives, gives the guests a little bit of a taste to, to enjoy that country if they'd like to go back there and visit that particular destination. We, we, that's just the tip of the iceberg that we've touched. Uh, and cruising is such a great way to, to, to see that and, in, and experience the cultures and the locations of, of these destinations. Why do people choose to go on vacation on cruise ships like this magnificent floating palace? I think you've got the whole package here. You know, you, you come on board, like we discussed earlier, you come on board, you, you unpack, we set sail. You know, the food is here for you, the, the, the beverage is here for you, you have world-class entertainment. You've got destinations waiting for you to explore, um, to enjoy, to immerse yourself within. Plus, you know, I think at Holland America Line, we have amazing crew members that really do go above and beyond to really exceed the expectations of our guests to deliver an excellent vacation. Uh, personal engagement, the, the little touches here and there from our crew members, wherever they work, whether it be in the retail department, the dining room, the, the, the beverage department, the entertainment department, I think that, uh, that there's, there's a certain culture instilled within our crew members at Holland America Line is that, uh, you know, within, within our signature of excellence, credo, that this is, we want to make every experience an excellent one, you know, 
an excellent experience of a lifetime. I think that that comes from our top leadership in, in uh, Seattle, right down to the leadership and the crew on board our ships. It's all very exhilarating. And speaking of destinations, I understand you yourself are from Dover. Yes, I was born, raised um, and live in Dover. Uh, I spent six years in Southern California and then, uh, and then I, I moved back to, uh, to my hometown of Dover. Um, I've been uh, 23 years in the cruise industry. My mother was a cabin stewardess on the original Queen Mary and the original Queen Elizabeth. My father was a chief petty officer in the British Royal Navy and I've been involved in the hospitality business since 1989. Please tell our audience about the historic significance of Dover. Well, I mean, you know, it's always been of great strategic importance to Britain. Um, there's been inhabitants since the Stone Age. This is what archaeological finds tell us. Uh, the castle, perched high up on the cliffs, is the largest in England, one of the oldest, with certain parts of it going back to 55 AD, when we had the invasion of the Romans. Uh, parts of the main keep of the castle back to 1170. Um, if, if Hitler had been successful in, in invading England, that's, he wanted Dover Castle as his headquarters, uh, suffered uh, a rather great deal of damage during World War II. Um, the area of, of uh, the English Channel there uh, during the Battle of Britain in 1940 was known as Hellfire Corner. But there's so much history, so much of an enriched history in Dover that we, we can you know, take it back to you know, 3,000 years ago when they were actually about 20 years ago they were <clears throat> digging up some pipes uh, to do some gas, gas work maintenance on some pipes about a block back from the beach in Dover and they, they unearthed a, a Bronze Age boat that dates back 3,000 years which is now housed in Dover Museum. So there is a lot of rich history. Uh, again, it's a very strategically important town. It's one of the sink, five sink ports um, along with uh, Hastings, New Romney, Hythe, um, uh, Sandwich, uh, and all, 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 it's, it's just great. It's in a real, a real roller coaster of, uh, of emotion that's passed through this town in the, in the past couple of thousand years. An important part of history. What are your plans for the future? I really enjoy my time at Holland America. I've been in the business 23 years. I've worked for a couple of different brands. Um, I really like the way that Holland America. Um, take care of their guests, <clears throat> also take care of their crew. It's a great company to work for. Um, so in the foreseeable future, uh, I hope to stay here at Holland America. Um, if not, I would like to uh, follow in the footsteps of my mother and father that ran a small little guest house stroke hotel um, for the first 15 years of my life at least. I, I, that's always been an option that I, I love to be with people. I love to make people happy. I like to pe see people smile. I enjoy the hospitality aspect of our, of our business. So that would be something that I have, have not ruled out. But for the time being, I'm very, very happy here with Holland America Line. This is just a great experience. Thank you so very much. You're most welcome. Thank you for inviting me along. It's been a real pleasure well, to... Uh, you really would like to stow away and stay on for a few more months. Lifeboat number six is available. Please feel free. Enjoy. I'll be right back. With us are Simon Dubur, the hotel director of the Rhinedam, Holland America's magnificent ship as we sail here on this wonderful cruise. It's a pleasure being with you. Welcome uh, back, uh, Mr. Bates. For passengers to look forward to and then find themselves enjoying life on board your ship after weeks and months of their regular busy and hectic lives, this must really be a great relief and a, a really rewarding experience. What are your thoughts on this? We try to make everything convenient for the guests, wherever they go, that they have everything by their hands that they don't need to think about anything else but relax. Yeah, and they can do everything what they would like to do, but there are no mandatory things. Certainly that's the case. But what I'd like to ask you is, what changes have occurred in the cruise industry as compared to that of decades ago? Cruising makes it convenient for the guests. Yeah, they have everything by hand and in hand. Yeah, they have everyday new destinations. Every day there is something for the guests to do and they can relax and be active of active as much as they want. This ship is so immense, yet everything is immaculate. How do you do it? We have a complete team of uh, housekeeping what goes 24-7 throughout all the places. And together with the support of all the other departments on board, uh, we keep it all spotless. Another thing I noticed is the attention to every detail. You have fresh, beautiful orchids on every dining table. Do you even have a florist on board this ship? We have one florist on board who takes care of all the plants and all the 
flower arrangements and every seven days yeah, fresh flowers are flown in or delivered to the home port. Another fact is the outstanding cuisine. How do you do it? The culinary background from all the people who love what they're doing on board the ship, trying to accommodate any wishes of all the guests. In today's day and age, security is a matter of concern to everyone. Please tell us about security on board the Rhine Dam. We have a complete security team on board. Our assist of a security, of a security supervisor officer with uh, an assistant and four security guards. Uh, everybody is required uh, on board uh, to have a photo ID and a second uh, document that shows, for example, as a passport when they go shore side uh, to show the photo, a uh, photo ID with all the information. So that is where we keep security standards on the highest levels, what it can be. When one thinks about tourists traveling the world on their own, visiting many different countries, there's the risk of mishaps, accidents and becoming ill while on vacation. However, on a cruise vacation, there's no need to pack and unpack many times, uh, over and over and be exposed to local health conditions. And due to the hygiene and attention to detail on your ship, health issues are actually less of a reason to be concerned. Please tell us about health. We have a specific uh, program in place which is extremely important for the first 72 hours. In the first 72 hours, we ask the guests continuously to sanitize their hands and wash their hands, and everything is served to the guest. So all buffets, yeah, we have all the staff who are serving to the guests. So after 72 hours, we sanitize the entire ship, yeah, and then the guests have access to buffets uh, and keep everybody free of any kind of germs. Changing subjects, I understand that you're from Holland. Please tell us a little about yourself. I grew up in the northern part of Holland, Friesland, and I started all with my neighbor, uh, who has a cafe restaurant, uh, where I started from uh, the old school, grow up into the business. And during the evening hours, I studied uh, and went through the evening classes and worked continuously throughout the ranks uh, to become where I am now. Throughout history, people working on ships would leave their homes and families for months and even years. Even today in your industry, the same occurs. Please tell us about working on cruise ships, how this affects family life. The Holland America has a beautiful program uh, that officers, petty officers can bring the family on board a ship for a certain period of time a year. Uh, besides, yeah, they have beautiful and good internet of, uh, solutions uh, where you can stay online on Facebook, on uh, Skype uh, to be in touch with a daily basis uh, with the family. In case of an emergency, uh, the company will support the family at home or on board the ship. Uh, also, if something really bad happens at home, uh, we'll support the crew member to go home as soon as possible in the first opportunity. We took a Holland America cruise last year from New York to Holland as a means of traveling to Europe, not as a round trip. Historically, ships were used as a means of transportation and only in recent decades, the ship has become a destination in itself. I like this idea. I like the idea of both actually. Is Holland America going to offer more such travel opportunities? Uh, every year we expand the cruises throughout the world, yeah, with more uh, crossings, with more uh, destinations, different parts of the world. And of course, yeah, by traveling by ship, it's the easiest and the best way to do. Because you have everything that you need yeah, and you have your freedom. While producing many programs on education, culture and other subjects in the US and Europe and elsewhere, we've traveled a lot by ship as well. But I'm very impressed with your cruise line especially. Please tell us what differentiates Holland America from other cruise lines. One of the most important things is the crew of Holland America Line. Uh, they embrace every guest uh, in their own home. Because that is the thing from Holland America Line is something from you feel the warmth from the crew towards the guest and you expand your family members after the cruise ends. Uh, because a lot of people stay in contact with each other. Well, I must say, we're enjoying being on your ship so very much, we don't want to get off. 
we'd like to stay on for another few weeks. It's been a real great pleasure being with you, sir. <laughs> nice meeting you again. And thank you for your hospitality. You're welcome. This concludes our program for today from on location on the Holland America ship Rhinedam. I'm Richard Peretz. Thank you for being with us.